so i found that there are only four colleges all across canada which are doing which are teaching specialization in embedded systems fancho college lambda lambton college conestoga college and confederation college all these four colleges right mm-hmm. and i checked the curriculum of all these four colleges and realized that confederation is giving the best stuff mm-hmm. in the, in lesser price So, uh, going forward and coming back to the embedded system, the program itself, uh, how like who is qualified to do uh, embedded system? You personally had some experience back home. Uh, that's one of the reason that you opted for. But mm-hmm. for someone who has no sort of experience, who has done uh, has done just bachelors, so mm-hmm. who do you think is actually qualified? Like, do you need a bachelors of, uh, in computer science and electronics, or what's what's the basic criteria? Um, like. if i talk about specifically if i talk about the course in confederation college it only required bachelors in computer science or equivalent which can be electrical and computer science also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right so you should have a engineering degree that's it you will get an admission in embedded systems in anywhere in canada so right. that is not a problem but the thing is you need to have a basic knowledge of c programming mm-hmm. and some knowledge of electronics also right like basic debugging what is a resistor what is a capacitor what is inductor uh, pcb designing a little bit about that coding algorithm data structures so like you should have basic knowledge of that so that when you start doing that course you don't have to start from the scratch right right like they are saying though because in post graduation diplomas they they assume that you know the basic stuff mm-hmm. so if you are doing it as a post graduation something then you should have a basic knowledge and the and the qualification or the eligibility criteria is you should have a bachelor's degree right nice nice and the other information you can always find it on uh, the college website and it's better to go through the website right yeah the percentage and all those things they are they depend on the college to exactly. college right great 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 and uh, so this was about the people who don't have any uh, you know experience who are just coming after bachelors but taking the other side of the story and you know again uh, taking your personal example uh, what about the people who have some sort of experience in it be it in like any is you know sort of it i know there are the different different uh, fields in 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 it itself so what if if someone wants to pursue uh, their career in embedded system what are some of the skills or uh, you know what are some of the ways that they can get into uh, embedded system apart from uh, the education side of it like the student uh, side of it uh, i think the the skills which are in demand in the industry are first of first and the foremost thing is c programming everybody knows c and c++ not or both the things c and c++ mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then next level is learning operating systems like real time operating system artos there are so many there is one uh, uh, real time operating system available free of course that is free artos like mm-hmm. they have to learn the basics of that thing and develop one or two projects on that and the next level is linux learn linux mm-hmm. and then bootloader development these are some basic skills which will get you a job and the main important thing is i have given so many interviews here in canada what they ask is have you worked on a commercial project right and then they spend like half an hour on that project only they ask question from inside a question so they are more concerned that the candidate should have worked on some kind of industrial or commercial project so every time like 90% 90% of the time they have asked me this question and they need to know artos they they want the candidate should be good with real time operating systems that is like the main skills student or the person want to pursue should know and the coding should be very strong you should know like very 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 basics of coding very small things mm. because embedded systems is something which is very close to the like i'm going very much into technical stuff so embedded systems is something which is very close to the hardware you deal with bits 101010 mm-hmm. the developer has to deal with all those things it's not very, it's not very high level like python or other languages it's very much close to the machine language so mm-hmm. you need to learn so many things which are close to the hardware so it's like that mm-hmm. nice great 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 
Wonderful. Um, so as we're talking about uh, now a profession and job, so what are the job opportunities in this field? Like, would you recommend uh, this uh, particular embedded system uh, to take it as a career if they're planning to move to Canada? Definitely they should, but uh, this, the jobs, job, mar- job market is only in the Southern Ontario, mostly. Most of the jobs are near Toronto mm-hmm. or in Montreal mm-hmm. or Vancouver side. So there are some places where, like just just like the IT hubs, right? Right. Vancouver or Toronto or Montreal. These are like IT hubs or Kitchener. Kitchener, Kitchener yeah. has most more of the startup companies. Right. 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 So this is the scene. And if somebody wants to pursue embedded systems as a career, they should uh, learn the basic skills and all. That. And how about the job uh, positions? Like, what are the, some common job postings that someone can uh, look uh, after? Uh, there are so many job postings like embedded systems developer, mm-hmm. uh, the junior embedded developer or senior embedded developer, these kind of positions. And then you will find some positions like firmware developer or mm-hmm. firmware engineer, or there are some positions like application developer or application engineer that is also embedded systems only. So this is the thing. And when you go to the LinkedIn mm-hmm. and you see the job descriptions of different job postings you will see all the skills are written over there what the person needs to know right right, right. just right. learn those skills and you should be able to get a job in embedded systems and the industry is definitely growing um so great and uh, before we wrap up this video guru sahib uh, let's talk about the money part like what's the average uh, salary that someone can make uh, in this field i'll give you an example of a friend who started as a fresher mm-hmm. he came to canada he was studying in my class he did bachelor's and directly came to Canada to do post-graduation certificate in embedded systems from Confederation College. He, and after one year, it took one year for him to get a job in this field. And it took around, uh, and his salary, I'll, I'll give you an approximate value. He's earning like annual package is around 50 to 57, 58, $60,000 in that range. That's a fresher salary. Right. As you keep growing, it will go up above 100,000, of course, like after mm-hmm. three to four years of industrial experience. Mm-hmm. But if you, if I talk about US, US has a salary range of $200,000 per annum, right? US has, US has like a higher range of salaries when it comes to IT, mm-hmm. right? So it is more on that, uh, in that country. So, but in Canada also, according to the economy, according to the uh, prices, except Ontario, <laughs> It's fine. Salaries are good. If you have a normal experience, if like three or four years of industrial experience back in India or from where you, from wherever you are coming, and then you find a job, you should be easily able to get like eighty to ninety thousand dollars per annum. Easy, no issue with that. You will get that if you have good skills and you perform well in interview. Mm, right, right. So it's right, like right. that. And as a fresher, around fifty-five, no problem. Mm. Easy. Hmm. Not bad. I mean, uh, 55. The advantage is like I'll give you an advantage. The advantage of IT field is that like they have a like unfair advantage. All the people working in the field of IT, all the skills they learn back in their home country are same as in hmm. in also, right. right. Right, tax, right. If you are into accounts or taxation, mm, exactly. that is different in India. You have to learn everything from fresh. Exactly. If you are into law, if you are into medical, you have to learn everything from fresh. Right. But all the guys who are working in IT, mm. they they can use their experience back back home, from back home, right? So it's like that. Hundred percent. Yeah, this is like sort of skill that you can transfer from you know any other country and. You can use it here uh, for like accounting and stuff. You need certification. You need CPA, and which is only you can uh, you can do when you're here. Wonderful, uh, Guru Sahib. I think we covered a lot. Thank you so much once again for your time. And please keep on doing whatever you're doing on your channel. It's been helping a lot of uh, uh, students. And I would recommend for a few people again who don't follow you, please do so. I will put the link in the description. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, Sagar. And allowing me to talk about my field because I've talked uh, so on a couple of YouTube channels, but they don't talk about the field embedded system. So you were the first one who asked me to talk about on my uh, professional thing. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.